Live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network. Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia Counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. One person was taken to the hospital after a rollover today in Hazleton. Hazleton fire crews were called to the area of North Church and Tamarack Streets for the crash where a Honda SUV rolled over. The driver of a silver car was taken to Lehigh Valley Hospital to be checked out. The driver of the SUV did not seek medical treatment. Hazleton police were on location investigating the crash. So far, no word if charges or citations may be filed. It may be a new year, but one community in Schuylkill County is dealing with the same old problem truck crashes. Saturday morning, a tractor trailer crashed in Gordon at the same location that a number of other tractor trailers have done in 2015, 16, 17, and last year too. Emergency crews got the call around 3 a.m. for the tractor trailer that failed to stop at a stop sign at Biddle Street, became airborne, and crashed into a wooded area between Plain and West Plain Streets. Butler Township Police say the driver was not injured, but was still taken to the hospital. The truck was holding macaroni and potato salad. Gordon officials say over the last year, a number of new signs have been put up telling trucks not to come down the mountain into Gordon. A Saturday afternoon fire in Shenandoah has been ruled accidental by Fire Marshal Rick Extamitz. Fire crews responded to a home at 629 West Penn Street around 4. The fire started in an upper floor room caused by an electrical malfunction. Two adults, five children all made it out okay. The fire was contained to the upstairs area. The family received temporary housing assistance from the American Red Cross. A man from Shenandoah was killed Friday night while walking along Route 61 just outside of St. Clair. The Schuylkill County Coroner's Office said 52-year-old Edward Whalen was walking along Route 61 when he was struck by a passing vehicle in the area of Pride Mobile Home Sales. Whalen died from blunt force trauma. The Coroner's Office saying the incident has been ruled accidental. People attending council meetings and other functions at the Borough Hall in, Hall in Mahanoy City will be seeing added security measures. Mayor Dennis Weissner worked with the police department to make sure that extra security measures are being taken to ensure the safety of elected officials, borough employees, as well as people who attend the council meetings. The measures come in light of the November 27th shooting in Paradise Township, Monroe County, and a previous shooting at a meeting in Ross Township where three people were fatally shot in 2013. Mahanoy City Police Corporal James Kovaleski will be greeting attendees at the door at the next Borough Council meeting. That is scheduled for Tuesday night. A firm from Baltimore is asking for a variance from the Hazel Township Zoning Board to add parking spaces for a facility that may be built in the Humboldt Industrial Park. MRPI Hazelton LLC applied for the variance of 718 parking spaces for a building on property known as Lot 9. The firm plans to build a warehouse on the site, but no tenants were listed on the application that was filed. According to MRPI's website, they plan on building a $1.2 million million square foot distribution center on 91.6 acres in Humboldt Northwest. The zoning hearing board is scheduled for Tuesday, 6 p.m. at the Hazel Township Commons Building. Black Creek Township held their first meeting of the year at the same time as usual, and residents are fed up. WILN's Julia Wiegand has why. Black Creek Township has been holding their monthly meetings on the second Tuesday of every month 
beginning at 2 p.m. Supervisor Dr. Sara Rorba, along with multiple residents of the township, say that this has been one of their biggest issues for quite some time now. Many residents work or are just getting off work or have to attend to their children's needs during that time. Rorba motions to have them change to evenings time and time again, but those motions are continuously left to die. We even had a petition with 431 signatures to move the meeting to the evenings, and the other supervisors still would not move the meeting time. So I don't know what it's going to take. You know, people stand up every meeting, ask to move it to a later time. They've gone around with petitions on their own, presented them to us. So maybe someday. Another resident voiced their concern with the well water by the township's old municipal building. Signs around their food pantry, community pool, concession stands, and locker rooms say that the water is contaminated and not safe to drink. However, after a right to know request was done by a resident, it turns out that the water has never even been tested. Our food pantry is trying to apply to get a new building um, on, on this premises right here. But in the grant application, it mentioned that the well water is contaminated. There was never any testing done on the well water. So that's rather concerning. I never knew about it before the right to know requests. Um, it depends on what the water could potentially be contaminated with. Like if you could wash your hands in it or um, drink it or shower in it or fill the swimming pool with it. You know, it may very well not be contaminated at all, but the problem is we have no idea. But yeah. Roba then motioned to have the well water tested, which will hopefully happen sometime soon in the near future. She also voted no to reappoint one member on the planning committee during the reorganization meeting. But I think it would be nice to bring new blood into the township, have better ideas. Well, yeah, better ideas, new ideas. Um. The township will hold their next meeting Tuesday, February 12th at 2 p.m., but hopefully in time, residents in Rorba can make the changes they desire. Reporting in Black Creek Township for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Coming up on WYLN News, we have more information about what's coming to the chamber in 2019 in Hazleton. But first, before we go to break, a check on the forecast. And if you are heading out this evening, some icy roads will be greeting you. Then for the overnight, we have a winter weather advisory from 10 this evening till 7 tomorrow morning. Some snow mixing with rain. That should come to an end toward morning. but. There could be some icy spots early, then milder, the high 43. Stay with us. it is to save during the big finish event come into all american chrysler dodge jeep ram today experience holiday cheer with the new 2018 ram 1500 crew cab with ram cargo management save up to 11750 or lease a new dodge durango sxt all-wheel drive for just 279 a month for 36 months and get zero percent for 60 months plus 1000 in bonus cash oh what fun it is to save during the big finish event at all american chrysler dodge jeep ram at Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Catnapper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. Hi, I had a very minor uh, fender bender tonight in an unreasonably narrow fast food drive through lane. Don't worry, I have everything handled. I already spoke to our Allstate agent, and I know that we have accident forgiveness, which is so smart on your guys' part. Like the fact that they'll Four just... weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. A hearing was held last week to determine whether a former Butler Township manager can continue to collect unemployment benefits. Mary Ann Petrilla said that she did not quit her position as manager of Butler Township at a hearing at the Pennsylvania CareerLink office last Thursday. She said she was told to leave after a meeting with Township Supervisor Brian Kysenweather on June 12th of 2018.
She claimed that Kyson Weather pounded on her door, came flying into the room red in the face, and told her that he had a problem with her. Kyson Weather and Supervisor Charles Altmiller said that Petrilla gave an ultimatum and quit at the June 12th meeting. Petrilla stated that she would never quit because she has to now buy health insurance and find a new job. Petrilla has been collecting unemployment, which the township wants stopped. The hearing referee said that a ruling will come within the next three weeks. A church with a long history in the Hazleton area announcing that it will be closing. Diamond Methodist Church on the corner of Diamond Avenue and Alter Street will hold its final service on Sunday morning. The church has been part of the community since 1889. It originally was built on 3rd and Locust Streets and had seating for 300 people. In recent years, the church offered English as a second language classes, and it also was home to a clothing depot that served over 12,000 families since 2012. The reason for the closure is due to low attendance, declining membership, and finances. The last service will be held this Sunday, January 13th, 11 a.m. A short social gathering will follow that service. A new municipal building in Freeland is anticipated to be open by the end of January after a few minor issues are worked out. The new headquarters will be in the former Freeland Event Center at South and Fern Streets. Some work needs to be done to create handicapped accessibility at the rear of the building. An exit sign needs to be put up and the fire alarm systems need to be tested so that the borough can receive an occupancy permit for the building. According to borough solicitor, the inspection should be done this week and hopefully will be open within the month. Council also appointed Councilman Bill DeFrancesco as vice president and Fire Chief Joe Stepanski was reappointed at last Thursday's meeting. A construction project near Mahanoy City has finally been completed after two years of work. The Lofty Dam Reservoir project was mandated by the State Department of Environmental Protection and its Bureau of Dam Safety. The dam breast had to be raised by four feet to improve safety and from preventing water from overflowing the wall. The upgrade cost around $5 million, which was paid for from a Pennsylvania Infrastructure Investment Authority loan and a Commonwealth Financing Authority grant. The dam in Klein Township serves as a DEP-permitted public water supply source. It also provides over 60 million gallons of water a year to customers of the Mahanoy Township Authority. The reservoir is currently being refilled at about one foot of water per day. Estimated time to complete the refill, about 45 days. A new labor contract has been reached in the North Schuylkill School District. The district and the North Schuylkill Education Association worked on the contract that will go into effect July 1st of 2020. The contract is mostly the same as the current one, with changes being made to salary and benefits. The current starting salary will increase from $38,000 to $39,000. Health insurance premiums will increase slightly to $130 for single coverage, $156 for family. The new contract runs from July of 2020 to June 30th of 2023. Coming up on Tanks News Choice, our Ryan Osachi has a recap of Friday's Berwick at Hazleton Girls game. Plus, Mary Malone will be joining Gary Perna in Community and You, talking about the first mixer of 2019. Stay with us. When was the last time someone pumped your gas, checked your oil, cleaned your windshield? At Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, they believe in full service at the gas pump. Craig's also offers full computer diagnostic service, alignments, Pennsylvania State inspections, including emissions, brakes, tires, anything you need to keep your car running perfectly. Let Craig's do the work for you, like they have for over 50 years. Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, 620 East Diamond Avenue in Hazleton. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. 
Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Stop in at Two Italian Guys Pizzeria for the best pizza in town. Serving a large variety of pizza, stromboli, and so much more. Open till 3 a.m. Take out or eat in. Delivery available. Call 570-459-2783. New community and you here on WYLN, everyone. I'm Gary Pern. I'm very pleased to have with me Mary Malone, the president of the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce. And today we're talking about the first mixer of 2019. And Mary, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Gary. Time really does fly. I, unbelievable. And I can't believe we're talking about the first mixer of 2019. And you know what? The place we're having the mixer couldn't be more appropriate at Liberty Tax. It is, so right? We turn the page, all the fun of the holidays and family and friends, but now it's time to think about at getting all the receipts from 2018. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was the perfect lead yeah. off mixer as well. So this is a great, and, of, and I think it's coming right at the perfect time on uh, January 9th at Liberty Tax, which is at 235 uh, East Broad Street in Hazleton. It's from five until seven. So, you know, I think we all have fun over the holidays, but if you're the person cooking and cleaning, everybody's coming to your house, you made that little stress with it. So getting out to a mixer, probably a great thing. And you know what the other piece too, Gary, is that all of our mixers are free mm -hmm. uh, for people to come in. It's a great place to bring your business cards. In this particular where we'll hear about the services of Liberty Tax as well. So if you bring out one or two of your employees as you're catching up and planning your mm -hmm. two 2019 or if it's to hear about those tax services and and help you you know get your head in order so from five to seven come join us at the mixer we just ask you to register mm -hmm. either on the chambers website or to call into the chamber and uh, on the ninth from five to seven you can stop in for a couple of minutes but you do know chamber rules there are some great door prizes mm -hmm. at Liberty tax services and you have to be present to win those so that's usually later uh, after the 615 mark, 630 mark of our mixers. So. so always a great event. The mixers are great to get out, mix and mingle, meet some of the other uh, business uh, workers or business owners in the greater Hazleton area uh, and to see what really we have to offer. Because we have a lot of businesses and a lot of great also nonprofits right here in Hazleton that take uh, use these great services from the chamber. So again, the mixer is on January 9th at Liberty Tax at 235 East Broad Street in Hazleton. You can call the chamber, go to their website to register. It's free. It's a great way to go out and mix and mingle and have a good time uh, to see what's going on. And Mary is going to be with us for uh, some time here on Community and You, bringing us all the updates of what's going on in the chamber for 2019. Mary, thanks for stopping in. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll see you on the 9th. We'll see everybody on the 9th. Thanks for joining us on Community and You. We'll see you next time on W1. The Falvello Law Firm, located at 314 Main Street, Suite A in Cunningham, offers help with car and truck accidents, wills, powers of attorney, and estates. With a small team of attorneys, they work directly with each and every client, serving all of Northeastern Pennsylvania, and they are proud to offer legal services that make a real difference to you. Call them at 570-788-4191 today. Being a new business is never an easy task, and this market deserves a dealer that guarantees the best price. Some people think our $1,000 low price guarantee could be a hoax, but let me assure you, that is false. If we don't have the lowest price on any vehicle in stock, we'll write you a check for $1,000, guaranteed. Check us out on the internet 24-7 at blazehazelton.com. And if that's not the lowest price, print out your lowest price and bring it in, and we'll be. No need to shop anywhere else. We guarantee the lowest price. Blaze Alexander Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Cadillac Buick GMC and Mazda of Greater Hazelton, home of the new low price guarantee, will beat any deal. Success begins at MMI. 
If you're entering 6th through 11th grade, come explore MMI on visitation night. Experience what many families have learned. And MMI education is one of the best investments you can make. Register for our January 26th Entrance and Scholarship exam. Visit MMIPrep.org for more information. WILN brought you the Berwick at Hazleton girls game on Friday night, and our Ryan Osachi has a recap. The basketball team hosted the Berwick Bulldogs for this Wyoming Valley Conference game. Coming into this game, Hazleton's record was 5-4, while Berwick was 7-1 and, and on a six-game winning streak. The Lady Cougars came out firing as they went up 12-1 halfway into the first quarter. During this run, Marissa Tribalpiece and Brooke Berensky each had five points. The Cougars would extend their lead after a three-pointer by Olivia Wolk, followed by Hazleton's relentless full-court press causing huge turnovers and capitalizing by scoring points. With the score being 20-7 in the final seconds of the first quarter, Burke was able to gain some momentum from Rennie Murphy. Murphy shot is up and good! She beat the buzzer! That momentum carried into the second quarter as the Bulldogs outscored the Cougars 18-11. Burke's Rennie Murphy scored 10 of those points, and Katie Starr scored 6. The score was 31-27 at halftime. Berwick had a quick burst into the third quarter, tying the game after this steal and score by Megan Dalo. But the Cougars were able to shift the momentum to their side as Trivial Piece hit a three-pointer, as well as Kyra Antolik in the dying seconds of the third quarter. Down to two, Antolik beats the buzzer with a three! The fourth quarter was a very competitive one as both teams had an answer for one another after each basket. But Hazleton had the upper hand as they caused seven turnovers, preventing Berwick to close the gap. Hazleton will win the game with a final score of 51 to 41. Hazleton's record is now six and four. They're three and zero in Division One of the Wyoming Valley Conference. Berwick is now seven and two and three and one in Division Two of the Wyoming Valley Conference, tied for first. Reporting in Hazleton for WYLN News, I'm Ryan Osachi. And the action's not over yet. Tomorrow night, the WYLN sports crew is back out at Hazleton Area High School for our third basketball game as Myers travels down I-81 to take on Hazleton. Join us Tuesday night for all the action. The Mohawks taking on the Cougars in the Hugh McGee Gym. Join Marty Burns along with Joe DeMelfi and the entire WYLN sports team for the matchup. The game live here at 7.30 on WYLN TV. And if you are going to the game, you can catch a replay on Saturday at noon and Sunday morning, 11 a.m. That's the news, and remember you can always get news updates on our WILN News Facebook page. Now stay with us. A look at today's weather next here on WILN TV. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 25 minutes from Frackville, 26 minutes from Jim Thorpe, 28 minutes from Tamaqua, 20 minutes from Shavertown, and 28 minutes from Clark Summit. Barber Ford in Exeter and Hazleton. Online at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. 
For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road in Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicap accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. Packages are available to fit anyone's budget, and there is a restaurant and catering on site. The facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor parties, private parties of any kind. Call 570-384-2314.
watching Mountaintop's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN.